this is not from your module. This is the graph related worksheet I have shared. Huh? On the group or the On the group and on the class power app. I've shared on the group then. Question number seven. All of you try to attend this. Here is the question. This is your acceleration meter per second square and this is your distance in meters. The velocity of the particle at t equal to 15 seconds is what? t equal to 15 seconds, what is the velocity? Hmm, velocity. Initial velocity should be given. It starts from rest. Initial velocity is zero. That is what I am asking. What is the velocity at t equal to 15 seconds? This is what a graph between acceleration and displacement. Yes or no? Acceleration and displacement, this is a graph. Is, is acceleration constant? So you cannot use the equation of motion. Forget about that. You cannot use. Again, okay, okay. if acceleration is constant, then only you can use equations of motion. All right. Now we know that acceleration is d by dt. This we have discussed or not? Yes, sir. Focus here. Now if I multiply. If I multiply, let's say, displacement and divide displacement, okay, what I get? A is equal to dv by ds into v. ds by dt is v and dv by ds will come like this. So time factor I have removed. Did we, did, did we do something like this? V dv by ds is equal to a, I will reduce or not? Not yet? Some of you are saying yes, some of you are saying no. No. Huh? Do you have to just go and watch the slope and area of the Okay, okay. Anyways, so here, here little bit of calculus is involved and little bit of this trick is involved. This is a common trick, don't worry about it, like they are not many numbers. When you solve questions, you will just automatically remember that you have to, you may write expression as v dv by ds also. The, the good thing about this equation is what? Time is not in the equation. Okay? So, if you, if you bring ds left hand side, it will become like this. Yes or no? I have cross multiplied ds that side. Okay? Why? Have you done a little bit of integration? Not, not yet. Okay. So, if I integrate here, this thing is nothing but area of area displacement graph. This is area and displacement graph. If you integrate this, ADS is what? See, ADS, DS is what? Small displacement. DS is a very, very small displacement. Okay, and A is an area, A is the acceleration at that moment. So, A into ds becomes what? Area of this strip. Yes or no? So, like, that, like this, everywhere if I take A and multiply ds, I will get areas of these strips. And if I integrate, integration is nothing but summation. So, if I add up everything, this will become 
volume total area. Okay, and you will learn that integral of VDV is V square by 2 if you don't know it already. Okay, so this is area, area under the graph. This is equal to V square by 2 and limits will be from initial velocity to final velocity minus U square by 2. Don't worry, we will be talking about calculus little later, but then since this question involves little bit of calculus, I am telling you how to solve it right now. No, because area, sorry, acceleration is changing. Acceleration is not constant. Okay, so you shh, remember this, remember that, please write down area under area displacement graph. You can use it like a thumb rule. Okay, area of area displacement graph. Area of acceleration displacement graph. is equal to final velocity square minus initial velocity square divided by 2. Okay? If area is constant, if, if acceleration is constant, what will be the area? A into displacement. If, if acceleration is constant, graph will look like this. Then the area will be acceleration into displacement. Right? So V square minus U square by 2 is equal to A into S. So V square minus U square become 2AS. This is what our equation was. Getting it? So even though area, if, if even though acceleration is not constant, then also area is V square minus U square by 2. Remember this as a thumb rule, you can you can use it as a direct uh, thing, result. Okay? Okay, show me your center. Oh, you should die first. Go back. Go back, go back. All of you have some understanding of this now. I can, you know, I can appreciate that you don't know how to integrate and stuff. You have the integration being taught in mathematics bridge course. What, what they have discussed? Differenti differentiation only they have discussed. Okay. So we will have a small session on uh, integral. Integral is nothing but a reverse of differentiation. Okay? We will have let's say one hour or two hour session only on integration because this will come again and again how to integrate. Okay? Right now for the sake of simplicity, I will not uh, talk about questions which involve calculus right now. Okay? But if it involves derivatives, then I can talk about it. Right? Derivatives you know. Okay. Which other question? Any other doubt? Huh? Question number 9. Question number 9, right? Somebody said 9? Okay. So here, all of you pay attention. This is the graph. This is velocity displacement graph. Again, this is velocity displacement graph. Okay. And there is a point P over here, point P, where the velocity is given as root 3 meter per second. So this point is given, this is root 3 meter per second, this point. And the slope, here the slope is what? How can I write slope theta, slope in terms of V and S? What is the slope? Correct. No, no. Delta V by delta S, right? Slope is between V and S graph. Change in Y divided by change in X. Yes or no? Okay. And if S is very small, it is actually dV by dS that is given to you, which is minus root 3. Okay. You have to find out the acceleration at point P. Can you find out what is the acceleration? We have done very simple question just now. You don't need an integration by the way over here. Can I write expression in terms of V and S? What it is? Expression is? We just wrote last question. That is area under V. S graph, sorry, area 
cylinder is graph. What is the relation between acceleration, velocity and displacement? A is V dV by dS. This is what we derived last question. Okay? Those equations of motion which are there with you, those are valid only when there is a constant acceleration. Okay? Now V is root 3 dV by dS is minus root 3. So it is simply root 3 into minus root 3. So answer is minus 3 meter per second square. They ask magnitude, is it? Huh. They ask magnitude. So magnitude is 3. Alright? Understood? What else apart from 9th? 11th. Okay. So here is a question, please listen here, the question is an plant tries to climb on the wall, time t naught in which it used its energy to climb fully finished depends on velocity v on what kind of emissions? <laughs> this dependence is shown in the graph. Find the maximum height attained by the amount. 1 by t naught is on the y-axis and velocity. It's energy to climb fully finished. No, I think this question itself is not very clear. Okay, question is not very clear. We can leave it right now. Next one, 18. 12th, you have to use calculus, I guess. Leave the 12th, it requires calculus. Okay? Then what? 18. Draw this question number 18. This is V square on the y axis and displacement of the x axis. 100 and this is 25. A particle moves on a straight line whose square of the velocity versus displacement is shown here. Okay? This is the graph. Okay? You need to answer uh, you know, the particle, whether the particle stops after 5 seconds, what is its acceleration and things like that. But first, I want you to find out the equation between velocity and displacement. Can you find out? Can you find the equation of this line? What is the equation of this line? This line, what is the equation of this line? You are telling me an kinematics equation. What is the equation of this line? Have you learned most, uh, have you learned the coordinate geometry, straight line? Then why, why can't you find out the equation? This is in intercept format, right? This is my x-axis, this is a comma 0 and this is 0 comma b. Now tell me what is the equation of this line? Minus a y by b plus x by a is equal to 1. You don't remember this? So what is the equation of this line? by 100 plus s by 
by 25 is equal to 0? No. What is weird about this? Instead of y axis, instead of y, you have v square. Huh? You haven't learned uh, the straight line cottage geometry? Can, can you get the equation of this line then? Whatever you know. Try getting the equation of this line. So v square minus 10 square is equal to 2 into minus 2 into s. What can I say about this now? Initial velocity is 10. Acceleration is minus 2. Now you can analyze this. What is going on? Okay. This turns out to be a constant acceleration motion which satisfies v square minus u square equal to 2x. Okay? Why it is? Do it yourself. Find out the slope. How much it is? You, you have learned this or not? Now if you tell me I haven't learned how to solve quite equation also, then I can't teach that matter. Because you folded your hand, don't want to do it yourself. Don't give me that nonsensical shit. Try to do it yourself. How to find slope? Slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. y2 is what? 0. y is 0. y2, y1 is 100. X2 is 25, 0. Can I have minus 100 by 25? Come on, I mean, you are better than this, right? Okay. Write something on the notebook. Do favor to yourself. Let me know over WhatsApp if you have any other doubts.